Good afternoon, ladies and gents. This is Miss Laidlaw, also known as a beat making housewife. Got a bit of a cold at the moment, so please ignore that and just try and concentrate on what I'm going to be showing you today. Uh, I received an email from a guy saying that uh, he wanted to know how he could record live automation using uh, a combinator uh, once he's programmed all the keys. So basically, I'm going to show you how to uh, use a combinator and how to record live. But you could do this with any of the uh, devices mentioned, including the mixer. First of all, I'm going to load up a track that I did. Uh, it's only it's a meditation type is track uh, I'm gonna play it to you and then what I'm going to be changing is the strings I think so if you just take a listen My string is called Alan Smith. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it here in this section, make sure that it is grey. I'm going to go into the device, which is where are you? Da, 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 da. Here we go. We're here. This section here, Alan Smith. Right. You could either use the keyboard, like I said, or you could use the mouse to change the pitch. This guy in particular, he wanted to know how he could change the pitch control and automate it live so what we do is we go back to the start of the track and we press record while it's recording I'm going to change the pitch If you go back into the uh, device here, what you're going to see is um, if you click into it, what you should be able to see is the actual what you've done. Okay. Here, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now, if I recorded it live and it just didn't sound and I played it back and it just was ah oh, it doesn't sound quite right I could always use the pencil key and change it so if I wanted that to move over to there I could do that or if I wanted to delete it I could do that uh, and that's obviously after the recording is done so if I just play back what I've done Sometimes uh, you might go to record, you do your automation, everything is hunky-dory, then you press play and you do not hear what you've done, okay? You can see the lines, but you can't hear what you've done. Now, sometimes this little button here gets in the way, automation override, just press that button and play the uh, track from the start and you should be able to hear it from the start all the automation that you've done now that's just the combinator you could do that with any of the devices yeah any of the devices you've got a mixer okay so let's have a go at the mixer I'm playing the track here's my mixer I'm going to press record I'm going to bring down the sound of the tambourines Stop that. 
Now my computer is going a bit overdrive at the moment because I've got things I'm recording at the same time. But never mind that. You will, you will see what I'm doing. Now, if you look here, all the automation is done on the mixer. Just to make that bigger, so then you can see exactly what I'm what I've done. Uh, channel one, channel. You can see all the automation here. And you can change it to whatever to whatever you want it to be. As long as you select mixer and it's in record mode. Okay? If you don't want that automation to be there, just click it out. Simple as. Really simple. Really easy to do. And it's all done in record menu. Okay? I've got all that in, uh, automation there. I want to change it round. I could do what I want to it, okay, as long as it's recorded. I don't want to automate the, the drums and then have, you know, the grey, it, it all greyed out on the mixer. Otherwise, it just, you know, it wouldn't record properly. So make sure that it's always highlighted and you press record. And you record whatever you have to do and if it doesn't play back then just press automation reset and that's it sorry it's a bit quick and it's a bit boring this tutorial but uh i've got a bit of a cold and my son is over there sleeping at the moment i've got a feeling he's gonna wake up so i've got a bit of anxiety but i hope you like the uh the tutorial please if you've got any questions if i could ask if i can answer them inbox me and i'll do a quick tutorial for you okay thanks for watching bye